Welcome to Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to talk about an app that can be very useful for teachers or demonstrators. So if you are a trainer, a teacher, a demonstrator or a presenter, you need to have this app installed on your PC or laptop. This app is going to enhance your teaching experience greatly. It will add an extra flavor to your teaching experience. So it will make your life easy as a teacher. And the app that I'm talking about is called the Zoomit app. Yes, you heard me rightly, the Zoomit app. So first things first, how to download and install this app. So to download it, I have opened up my browser and in Google, I will search Zoomit app. After searching Zoomit app on the top of the windows, it will going to appear in search. After appear, I have, I will have this window appear which is called the Zoomit version 4.52. I'm good to go. I can simply download Zoomit for here. So after downloading Zoomit, it will be downloaded as a zip file. And then as you can have a look, it has a very low size, which is only 448 KB. So it will be downloaded very quickly and very easily. And also it can be installed very quickly and very easily. So after it has been downloaded and installed, this app will run in your background and you can check it from here as you can have a look we have a zoom it app running in the background so now how to use this app we have some shortcut keys that we need to understand first of all to enable the zoom in mode the shortcut key that we need to press from the keyboard is control plus one so let me press control plus one and we will be in the zoom in mode here we go we are in the zoom in mode and to exit this zoom in mode we need to press the escape key so let me press escape key and the zoom in mode is gone we are now in the normal mode again to get to to enable zoom in mode control plus one to get back to normal mode escape key now how to further zoom in while in zoom in mode again to enable zoom in mode i have pressed control key now i want to further zoom in so to further zoom in i need to play, press control i need to press the f key so the f uh, i need, sorry i need to press the up key so the f key is going to further zoom in as you can have a look i'm going to further zoom in by pressing the f key and if you want to zoom out a bit i can press the down key so to zoom in or zoom out in the zoomed in mode we need to press the up or down key the up key will further zoom zoom it and the down key will zoom out so here we go to further zoom it we need we can press the zoom in mode and to zoom out we can use the zoom out mode and we can move your cursor to whichever area we need, we want to zoom it or zoom out okay so draw to draw or annotate while zoom in we need to simply press the left mouse button for example i am in the zoom in mode now and I can simply press the left mouse button and now I can annotate so by pressing the left mouse button this cursor is going to change to the plus type of sign now I can annotate I can annotate here we are discussing this point we are discussing this point etc etc so this is how we can annotate in the zoom in mode by simply pressing the left mouse button and if you want to again go to the normal mode I can simply again express I can simply again press escape so now we are in the normal mode now if we want to draw in the normal mode we can also draw in the normal mode by pressing ctrl plus 2 now I have pressed ctrl plus 2 and now I am drawing in the normal mode for example this is my transition this is my animation if we want to explain something like my I am explaining first point etc so that makes things easy for the teacher so this was about the basics of short keys the other thing is about pen so let me go to the next slide uh, and the uh, again to zoom it more we have covered this thing to enable zoom it more we need to press the left key and to enable uh, uh, annotation in normal mode we need to press the control plus key now how to change the color of this pen for example in the zoom in mode or in the zoom out mode when i press the left key now i am in the uh, in, i have in the annotation mode now how to change the color of this man of this uh, line of this pen pen
So to change it, I can simply press to change this color to red. I can simply press R. Now the color has been changed to red. To change the color to green, I can simply press green. Now the color has been changed to green. To, to change it to pink, I can simply press P. In this way, I can change the colors to whatever color I, I like of the pen. And to delete the previous uh, drawing or the previous annotation, I can simply press Ctrl Z, which is the short key for undo. And to delete all the drawings, I need to press the erase. To erase all the drawings, I need to press the E. For example, here we go. I have pressed the E and now all the line has been deleted and i can also again enable this in the uh, normal mode in normal mode i can also change the color for example this has been changed to red this has been changed to green etc etc and to delete all again i need to press e and i can also increase or decrease the pen line weight for example this pen line weight i want to increase i can simply press ctrl plus up to increase it as you can have a look i have pressed ctrl plus up and now my pen line weight is now has been increased and to decrease is i can i need to press ctrl plus down key so the ctrl plus down key is going to decrease my length so if i press ctrl plus down key as you can have a look this is going to decrease so this line weight has going to decrease again to delete all the annotations i can simply press e and all the annotations will be deleted so let's move on to the next slide and to bring cursor to the center we need to press the space bar for example i'm in a, in, in in my annotation mode i want to press i want to write something and i want this cursor to move to the center so i will simply press space bar on my keyboard here we go my cursor has moved to the center and if you want to draw a straight line i need to uh, hold shift while drawing so if I want to draw a straight line here, here we go, we have a straight line here. So I can in this way draw a straight line. And if you want to draw an arrow, if I want to explain something, I can simply draw an arrow by pressing shift control and arrow. For example, I want to explain this thing. So I can simply press this. Here we go, we are explaining section. So that's how we can draw lines and arrows. And same is the case in the zoom in mode for zoom in mode again control plus one control plus one is going to enable me a zoom in mode and i will go here if i want to explain something again left click is in the annotation uh, now if you want to draw an arrow again control shift in this section so this makes your life easy as a teacher and it makes your uh, presentation more presentable to the students so students are more facilitated in this way if you are explaining something and you use these annotations and these arrows and these zooms and out teacher students are more facilitated let me escape this and the other thing is for the wide screen for example i am explaining something and i want to have uh, i wa want to teach some additional things to the students so i can turn on a white screen by pressing white and i can turn on a black screen by pressing black that can be done in the zoom in mode for example i am now in the zoom in mode i want to i am explaining something and the students are not getting it i can simply press w for the white screen so i can uh, give additional information to the students here additional information so here we go we can give additional information and to and to get rid of this white screen we need to press escape Again, if you want to have a back screen in the zoom in mode, we need to press K. There is my back screen and then again I can give the additional information if I want. And to type, in, to type anywhere in screen in the zoom in mode, we need to press T. For example, if I want to type something here, I will press T. And I can move this cursor here and there. Wherever I want to write something, I can. For example, I want to write here, so I can simply write, this is nice as etc. So I, I you can have a look I have written and you can also uh, uh, write anywhere wherever you like and so again to exit this mode you need to press escape so this was all about the zoom it app I have personally found it to be very useful and very easy to handle just few short keys that you need to remember and you will be an expert of this app and this app is very useful while teaching so if you are teaching uh, to students this app is going to help you a lot 
that's all from technically explained hopefully you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you